guys welcome back to another video today i'm gonna be showing you how to make a game so first thing you want to do is pull out your maker pen go to your menu and create your door now this is gonna be basically a moving door not really a game i don't know why i said a game um so the first thing you want to do is make your door so just i'm gonna make a simple door probably like about that size Scale this is what I'm doing by the way. You guys can make your own door. And then just gonna put some middle and then I'm going to clone it again going on here another one going the exact same way now if you guys want to skip to a certain part you can now all I'm gonna do is recolor it and then I'm gonna clone it now just so you guys know you don't wanna clone it like select it all and then clone and then just do that and try to do this you have to make it all separate for this my door is gonna be i think that looks like a <laughs> one of those thumbnails of a minecraft portal that clickbait so now we're gonna clone my door i'm not the best builder so i did not spend time at that at all and then you want to grab a couple things so first of all you want to grab a state machine where's the state machine you want to grab this put this to the side just wire these up Wire the top one to the bottom one. Wire the bottom one to the other one. Then there you go. It should be blinking like this. And then after you do that, mm -hmm. you want to go to search and then search trigger volume. Mm. I'm just gonna search trigger. It's this right here, so. Hand of. If you have fly on, it would be best to use fly. For the scaling. So now you wanna make it even as possible to it. Then you don't, you actually want it a little bit out. Just like that. Scale it in actually all the way. Just like that. 
It should look like this right now. So, after that, what you want to do is wire the enable to any of these. So, I'll prefer the red one to the enable. So, after that, you want to, um, actually get a piston, so, search a piston, And this right here, you actually want to configure each one to two or one. In my case, I'm going to put two. So, you want to configure max travel distance to two. If your door is big, put three like giant doors. If your door is just like this one, then you don't have to worry. So after that, you want to put a clone. You want to clone your um, piston just like that. Then move your piston right on top. Then, don't worry how this, because I'm going to show you what to do. So, from there, just want to get one on top for now. Now, don't connect it to both of them, just connect it to one. Then the first thing you want to do is rotate it just like this. So you want to keep rotating it till it looks like this. And then you want to bring it out until it looks good. So I'm going to do right about here. Same for the other one. Or you could clone it, which I prefer to do. I don't know why I cloned it right there. So delete your other one if you had this one. Or you can do what I just showed you. So. From your other one up here. Actually want to clone it over here. Then rotate it, not like the other one, instead you want to rotate it like this. So it should look like this now. Now once you do that, don't worry about the pistons now, and then worry about these. Because these come first in this. So the one you're on, this one you want to put the value to 250 mm, mm. this will make it more smooth and you could this is the speed so if you want it to be faster 250 is pretty much a <clears throat> probably the best you can do because 300 looks a little weird and 200 looks really weird so do 250 but again if you're doing a bigger one do 300 so 
now that you did that, do the same to the other one, but put this one to negative 350, 250. So, this will make it go backwards instead of forwards. So, after that, you want to connect this one. All of these, don't do anything with this one. And just select the pistons and go to tools and wire them up to the speed. Then once you do that, it will automatic. It will automatically. Go to those ones. So after that, you want to go to tools and, or no, you want to go to paddler and go back from the piston and go to, oh god, what is this? CV1. Go down all the way until you find verbal chip. You want to put the chip right in the middle. It doesn't matter, but it doesn't get a mess when it's anywhere else. So, you want to configure the R signal to be 1. You could do this with any signal, but I'll tell you either way. So, R is red. G is green and B is blue. So, after that, you want to go back and select these again. Just select the pistons and wire this time. Wire the on. And then, that's it. Oh, come on. Okay, first you obviously have to do <laughs> what I didn't do, which is why he's out first. Now, as long as you get close, you can just walk through and walk out. Walk through, walk out. So, if you want to do this with a button, you can. It's actually really simple. Just delete the trigger volume. And that's how you can definitely tell if you got it right. So, um, instead of the trigger volume, you actually want to go to Padlet Props dynamic and then a button put the button wherever you want I'm gonna put it on both sides so once you do that you want to wire these both up to you want to wire one up to enable I prefer the trigger volume because you can do both sides 
But if you do want to do it with both buttons, it's actually way too complicated. So, <laughs> guys probably want to know how to do it. So, you want to go to math tips. And then, combinator chip, which is the same one we used for the cookie clicker. If you want to see that video, go check it out. And you can connect these to this one. then it works the same so <laughs> for this one you actually always set it so you want to wire the red one it doesn't matter what color but red and blue will do and then once you wire those both up, hook the red plus blue plus, plus green to the red one, which is enable. And then pretty much just opens and closes with buttons. Now I don't prefer this one since it wasted some more ink than usual. <laughs> since buttons cost away more ink. But... <laughs> Yeah, that's for door. Um, I'm actually gonna show you guys how to do it with one. Now, this is actually way easier and way better to do. So, if you're doing one door, like for one of those army games, uh, you actually want to delete all of this then you want to keep the button since that will do the thing you want it to do and then make a giant cube um as for some reason all of them the same one as all of them So, you want to, if you're doing it like all of them, I prefer fog, metal floor, tread. Now, this is what all of them use. If you want to be unique and use a different one, you can do that. Now, um, you want to actually be pretty simple with this since... It is really easy. So really cost that much and it's basically the same. So you want to pretty much cut all living that life off on this side. So anything living can get passed through this. But we have a gate. Now, right now, it won't work, so I'm gonna show you this one, which is actually the same exact thing. So, you want to go to Padlet, get your piston, and open up your giant door. So, wherever your giant door is, just place it on there. Like so. And then. Actually. Be easier if you do it this way. Because you're going to turn it. Like this. So. Once you do that. Block all living life off. You want to connect. Living life back. To your military. Oh shoot. 
what did I just do? Okay, you wanna probably get some living life in your military, right? You probably wanna get some troops in your military. You wanna get some people in there. Since all of these militaries are using the same thing. It's this simple. Just to connect the speed to the um, Bayou 1, which is the first one, VAL1. And then you want to go here, get the same thing I said a minute ago, which is and math chips and a variable chip. Now if you did delete everything, just put it back. The things I still have. So you're gonna do the same thing as last time. Just do that thing. And probably set this to 20. Because no way anyone's going to get past that little thing. So you want to put it to 20. And bam. There you go. People can now be in your military. Just by press of a button. And boom. You don't want people inside. Just close off your military door to the whole world. So no one can ever see you again. So. That's it. And thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And. Bye.